So we need more clarity in crypto. You've probably heard me saying this over the past several months. Uh, we need to get rid of the bad actors. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a particular story that is happening right now. And the big issue that I want to hit on in this video are scam tokens. Tokens that are created by developers to scam all of us as investors. I want to talk about it in this video. Go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Patreon link down below in the description. Come on over today if you want to join a great budding community where we're helping each other stay away from the scams and make money in crypto. Link down below. With that being said, let's jump in. Here's the tweet. Just in, two U.S. law firms have filed a lawsuit against Uniswap, alleging that the exchange lacks security and lets fraudsters list scam tokens. We've all seen these tokens. Here's the problem, right? Yes, there are good projects in crypto. But it's really hard to tell what the good projects are. Yes, even when we're able to read the contract, developers can still pull fast ones on us at any moment, right? So here's the other thing. There are a lot of good people and good developers in crypto, but there are also bad actors and bad developers in crypto who continue to come out with a different scam token over and over and over and over and over and over again. That is the biggest issue we face right now, especially in this community coin space, right? Where there are huge gains to be had as long as we're working with a good developer. I do my best as an influencer to bring you good projects. Do I get it right all the time? No, probably 90% of the time, 95% of the time. It's hard guys, because even when you do your due diligence, even when you take an audit of a contract and things, they can change it on you before they launch. They can change it while it's out there. There are so many ways creative ways the developers are getting, uh, you know, get, getting a, taking advantage of all of us as investors, including myself. I'm one of you. I'm just a crypto investor who talks about it on YouTube, right? But I want to go into this story a little bit. Uniswap faces class action lawsuit from trader who lost money on altcoins. So this article came out yesterday. So on April 4th, Nessa Risley of North Carolina filed a lawsuit alleging that the decentralized exchange's lack of identity checks and security restrictions lets fraudsters list thousands of scam tokens associated with rug pulls, pump and dumps, and Ponzi schemes on the platform. 100% true. This is something we've all faced. I don't care how long you've been in this game, you've come across this at some point, right? And it's usually happening in the community coin space, the space that we talk a lot about here on YouTube. Now, with that being said, I've had a ton of success in this space, and I know many others out there have as well, but we need better clarity in cryptocurrency. So this is when I, you know, when I say we need some type of regulation, right? This is what I mean. We need to regulate the people in crypto, not so much from the top down, but just regulating who's able to launch a token. Right now, you and I can go to Fiverr, okay, get a contract and launch it and rug pull people. Literally, it's that easy, like super easy. That's why it happens so much. We need to change it. We need more clarity. And we need people to have the information that this token is not good. This token does check out. This person is not good. This person does check out. Now, more than that, the lawsuit filed from U.S. firms Barton LLP and Kim Saratella LLP alleged that Uniswap's fee structure encourages fraud by paying liquidity providers guaranteed fees for every trade. Meanwhile, investors were left to fend for themselves. It's exactly true. Now, Risley spent about 10400 on low-cap altcoins between May and July of last year. In the same period, the total crypto market cap lost half of its value. Risley cites substantial losses in Ethereum Max, Matrix Samurai, Rocket Bunny, Alpha Wolf Finance, Bazoge Earth, and Boom Baby tokens. Now, were they all rug pulls? I don't know exactly. Were they all honeypots? I don't exactly know. I know some of these may have been. But the end of the day, there are a couple things I want to say here. Yes, uh, Risley is in charge of her investments, right? However, she's given an unfair advantage when a developer doesn't have to fully dox. When a developer can go on and scam people again and again and again, it's too easy. We need more clarity in crypto. And I've been saying this, and this is an exact example of it, 100%. Now, Risley's suing Uniswap Labs, its founder, Hayden Adams, and investors, A16Z, Paradigm, AH Capital Management, and Union Square Ventures. The lawsuit accused them of abetting Uniswap's failure to register as an exchange or broker dealer and selling unregistered securities. This is the big challenge that we face. The lawsuit marches straight past Uniswap's claims of decentralization. The Uniswap protocol compromises permissionless smart contracts that anyone can interact with, meaning that Uniswap can't restrict 
who can use the protocol? That's a big issue. Or which tokens users trade on its exchange? And I get where everybody's coming from, right? Don't mess with my crypto. Keep it decentralized. I understand that. We need to keep it decentralized more than centralized, but we also have to vet the people who are coming out, developing these tokens, developing these contracts, and scamming people. It needs to stop. So we need more clarity in crypto. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comment section. Don't forget Patreon link down below as well. We just put a new um, channel in our Discord where we're going over different pre-sales. We also have a channel that goes over scams and alerts on potential scams. So if you want to come over and be a better, safe investor, come on over and join us $20 per month. I do send some alerts here as well and some various things I'm looking at, some breaking news. And in addition to that, you get access to over a thousand of us in the Discord. We're having great conversations and you're going to learn and grow as a crypto investor. Thank you so much for stopping by. Appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.